Hi, wonderful parents. Welcome to our Thursday Live. I just wanted to um, welcome you to it. And we're going to be talking about um, how to have a difficult conversation. And I'm going to be teaching you a emotion regulation um, DBT skill called Dear Man um, to do just that. So um, before I get into that, I wanted to kind of share a little bit of my journey of how I came to be a parent coach. Um, so some of you know in this group, others uh, on my other social media profiles, I actually uh, suffer with mental health myself. Um, I have PTSD, I've been diagnosed with that since 2015, and then I got diagnosed with bipolar in 2018. Um, so to say that this has been a personal journey, and um, of course I never ask you to do something that I don't do myself. I don't believe in that, that's not authentic to me. Um, so I've been through it. I've been through a lot of marriage counseling, a lot of individual therapy. Um, I actually learned these emotional regulation skills. They're a 13 month commitment. So it's not a small thing at all um, to be learning these skills. The first time that I learned them, um, it was like a breeze. Like, And the beautiful thing about DBT is that it's broken up in four modules. So it's like taking um, skills from each module. So that's what I plan to do actually is to kind of do a DBT skill a week. Um, Cause really I want you to have these parenting tools in your parenting toolbox. Um, I want you to be further along in the journey than I was when I began. Um, so this is kind of my commitment to you. And um, if I have anything to share, I, I want to share it with you. So, um, these skills really helped me to feel hope for the first time in my parenting journey that maybe I could control my emotions and maybe they don't have to control me. And just maybe I can kind of get something, um, something right of how I can handle my emotions and my behavior. And so, um, so when I, I practiced it the first time, you know, it was, it was whirlwind, lots of skills. But I already could tell the difference in my responses. And the most powerful skill that um, we've seen in my home is Dear Man. So I want to teach that to you. Um, so here we go. Dear Man. Um, it is a interpersonal effectiveness skill, which is a communication skill. And so I teach it in my parent coaching program. I also teach it in the course that I am kind of running right now. Um, so the D in Dear Man is a scribe. You want to stick to the facts. You don't want to go off on a tangent and say, um, something like, you know, you always do this or something like that. You don't want to do that. Um, you want to do a lot of I statements. You, that's also with express. So, um, explain what you're reacting to. Like you're not reacting to the person. You're reacting to something that caused you to feel some way. Um, you know, the person in front of you is not your enemy. They are your coworker, they're your friend, they're your boss, they're your, hey Tiana, thanks for watching. Um, they're possibly your spouse and even possibly your kid. So um, they're not your enemy. So so don't don't approach that conversation with that, with that mindset. Approach it with, I'm just gonna give you the facts of what is going on here. He is expressed, so feel you're expressing your feelings, your opinions, he's a lot of I statements. I feel this when this happens, blah, 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 stuff like that. Um, for A, you're asserting what you need because the person does not know what you need if you don't ask, right? No one's a mind reader. Um, we can't expect our spouses or our kids or friends to know what we're talking about if we don't tell them what we need, right? So assert yourself. Um, reinforce the reward that they're going to get because we all know this, but you know, we always want to know what, what's in it for us, right? So if this person does what you want them to do, or if they give you the raise or whatever it is that you're asking for, what's in it for them, right? So if you have a raise, like you'll be a better employee, you'll be able to focus better. You won't be so worried. Um, you know, you'll come to work on time, all those things. Um, if you can pick up at the right time, at the time that we scheduled, 
that I'm going to be less flustered when you come pick up. I'm going to be a lot more social with you. You know, those are good things. Those are, those are rewards that somebody would want to get. Um, mindful is the M. So stay mindful. Stick to your point. Don't deviate from it. You know, don't sound like, I don't really know if I want this or not. Stick to your point. Uh, this is where you kind of become a broken record. You don't deviate from what you're trying to say. And uh, don't go off topic. And an A is appear confident. Because in any conversation, especially in a difficult conversation, you want to appear confident. You want to have the good eye contact. You want to have the good confident voice. You know, you want to appear confident because the person then is going to be able to take you seriously and be like, oh, so they really do want this. I should probably consider what they're asking then. And then N is be willing to negotiate because sometimes what you ask for might be a little bit too much for the person that is um, in the space or in the conversation. So let's say for kids, like let's say we want them to clean up their room, but can we maybe ask them, reduce the request and say, okay, maybe not the room, can you just take out the garbage? Something that they can do and then maybe they can work up to the room later, right? Maybe the husband can um, watch 10 minutes of football and then come and help you with dishes. Stuff like that. So find a way for both of you to win. This is a skill that I have used in my marriage and in conversations and it has literally transformed my marriage in ways that we can now communicate in ways that we were not able to when I began this whole mental health journey. Um, so I hope this helped you and uh, let me know in the comments you know what you thought of this skill, how you might want to use it in your relationships, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Take care.